Today I am building this 5.1 mini sound system with fully 3D printed enclosures. I am turning my lounge into my main listening area for all the speaker projects that I do and anything to do with home theatre will be part of another much larger project for a dedicated home theatre space in another part of the house. However, occasionally when just casually watching TV, it will be great to still have some kind of surround system connected so that I can still benefit from great sound whilst doing so here in the lounge. This is what it looks like now and you can see there is still much to do. However, in time I will make the transformation and the small surround speaker system is just a small part of getting started. I used Onshape to design the parts required to make up the speaker enclosures. Starting with a subwoofer that will house a 6.5 inch tank band driver, the limitations of most 3D printer beds meant I, that I had to split the enclosure into three parts. I tried to keep the design within the size limitations of most everyday 3D printers and the entire project can be printed on a print bed with a typical size of 220 by 220 millimeters and 250 millimeters high. The satellite speaker enclosures are much smaller and will house two 2.5 inch full range drivers each. These are from Dayton Audio. Links to the parts can be found in the description below and I will also release build plans that will include all the STL files and all the information you need to print and build these yourself on my website at soundblab.net. The printing itself took a long while with each part of the subwoofer enclosure taking about a day each and the rest another couple of days of continuous printing. I used PLA and this worked very well, giving me great prints on my artillery Sidewinder X2 with a 0.6mm nozzle. I'm not pu publishing any of my print settings uh, since this will depend on your printer and the type of PLA that you are using, so some experimentation will be necessary. Now if you do not have a 3D printer, there are many 3D printing services available. One such service can be found at JLCPCB, the sponsor of this video. JLCPCB is at the forefront of the printed circuit board industry and has become a leading global PCB manufacturer and now also provide a high quality professional 3D printing service. I uploaded my STL files on their website and got an instant quote to print one of the satellite speaker enclosures consisting of four parts. I chose to go with SLA but they also offer NJF, SLM, FDM and SLS 3D printing methods. The quality and accuracy is very high and I am very pleased with how it came out. I also designed a custom PCB board for the crossover and JLC PCB provides a very simple procedure to upload Gerber files and get an instant quote. You can get 5 PCB boards manufactured for as little as $2 and this was great since I needed 5 boards for the 5 satellite speakers in my 5.1 system. Production and shipping is rapid and within a week I had the parts in my hands. So go check out JLC PCB by following the link in the description and thank you JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. With any 3D print comes a bit of cleanup and removal of supports. I then just fit all the parts for the subwoofer enclosure together in a dry assembly to make sure everything fits well before continuing to glue it all together into the final enclosure. The parts are glued together with a construction adhesive or you can use a two-part epoxy glue. There are naturally some gaps in between the parts glued together but this can easily be filled with some body filler and afterwards I used a coarse sandpaper to flatten it all out. Mm -hmm. 
To finish the enclosures, I start with a spray can paint that is a two-in-one primer and top coat in matte or satin finish. I applied around two or three coats, sanding in between with a 240 grit sandpaper. The final top coat is a matte clear coat and this helps to visually flatten out any imperfections on the surface of the printed enclosure. It ends up almost looking like a brushed metal finish because of the print lines that you can see on the printed surface and it came out rather nice. The two 8 ohm 2.5 inch full range drivers for the satellite speakers are wired in parallel to give us a nominal 4 ohm load. I also modeled a baffle step compensation circuit consisting of two parts, an inductor and a resistor uh, to the PCB I designed and ordered from JLC PCB. This makes it easy to solder everything together and also allowed me to incorporate two holes where the speaker terminals can connect to the PCB and also secure it in place onto the rear panel of the enclosure. It is also a good idea to use hot glue to secure the inductor and the one end of the PCB in place to prevent any vibrations. The enclosure is filled with some polyfill or Dacron to help prevent standing waves and provides some dampening. On this frequency response graph for the satellite speaker we can see the yellow line representing the non-faulted response and the blue line representing the frequency response after applying the baffle step compensation. Impedance as mentioned before is a nominal 4 ohm load. I can now fix the rear panel in place with a few screws and then also glue on the mounting piece with some CA glue. The small plate amplifier is a Lapai 2.1 plate amp, however it does have a setting to only use it as a 0.1 subwoofer amplifier. It will provide 60 watts of power to the subwoofer driver, which in my testing of the system is plenty in your average size room. I will leave a link in the description below to where you can purchase this plate amp. The subwoofer enclosure is also stuffed with Dacron and also rather generously to prevent standing waves inside the enclosure. It is important however that the port opening is not obstructed by the stuffing. Since the subwoofer is down firing and I need to raise it from the floor, I am gluing four 3D printed feet to the bottom of the enclosure with CA glue. This aluminium pipe is half inch in diameter and will be the upright supports for the two surround satellite speakers and also the supports for the wall mounted satellite speakers. The two surround satellite speakers will be freestanding and I printed a base that can house a gym weight to give it some heft and prevent it from tipping over.
cable management was important to me and I tried to incorporate it into the design as best I could. I think the outcome is an elegant solution with most of the cable being fed through the aluminium uprights and wall supports. I'm still planning to do some paneling on the wall behind the TV and will then be able to hide any wires behind this for the wall mounted speakers. I am very happy with the outcome of these speakers. The 3D printed enclosures are working better than I could have expected and I'm getting absolutely no audible vibrations or resonances from the enclosures during normal listening to music or watching a movie. The sound quality is fantastic considering the size of the speakers but I'm getting very good integration between the satellite speakers and the subwoofer. The subwoofer is also easily capable of keeping up with the five satellite speakers. The system is connected to my Denon AVR and after running an Odyssey setup I then just made a few of my own tweaks to the crossover frequencies setting them all to 150Hz which is where the satellites naturally starts to drop off. Build plans are available for this system on my website at soundblab.net. There's a link in the description below. If you have a 3D printer, it is really easy to use the build plans to build a 2.1, 3.1 or 5.1 system. You can even just run a 2.1 system with a lapai plate amp if you do not have an AVR. Thank you all for watching. You can also support me on Patreon or YouTube memberships or follow me on Instagram. Links are in the description below. But let's now take a listen to the system in the following sound demo, best listened to through ear or headphones. Until next time, adios. Excuse me, Sergeant Vitasky? Excuse me, Sergeant Vitasky?